Hey guys, it's Nike of X here, and today we'll talk about Dante, the beloved Devil Hunter that has returned in its glorious quality, albeit a little aged. But I guess that's what happens when you when your diet consists of pizza and strawberry sundaes. Not to mention the occasional demon blood that gets spilled in his face. This bastard's a strawberry sundae freak. He eats pizza every day, and he never pays back the money he borrows from me or anybody else. <laughs> In order to assess Dante's current power, we gotta look at this wallpaper. Uh, <coughs> the real wallpaper. Let's see the Rebellion here. If you remember, the Rebellion is the physical manifestation of Dante's power. We have two versions of it in Devil May Cry 3. Those are the unawakened form that begins the game, and the awakened form that it becomes after the Devil Trigger is unlocked. We can see three differences between the two versions. First, the side bones rise, the mouth opens, and the spikes in the handle widens. Only one of the mouth opens though. The other side remains closed. And Dante usually keeps the rebellion on his back with the open mouth side showing. And it's hard to know what happens on the other side without further images from Devil May Cry 5. Another detail to note is that there are horns only on the side with the open mouth. So until further news, we can only analyze this side of the sword. The first and most noticeable change from Devil May Cry 4 and 5 is the increase in the angle of the side bones, approaching the design shown in Devil May Cry 2. From this angle it's unclear to know if the crown has changed. Another small change is in the ribs that are under the face. There are more now, again approaching the design of Devil May Cry 2. So what can we conclude from all of this? Evidently, Devil May Cry 5 takes place before Devil May Cry 2. The Rebellion has yet to achieve the design shown in Devil May Cry 2 that we have come to accept as Dante's full power. Considering the changes from the Rebellion since, the de de since its debut in Devil May Cry 3, I would say he's pretty damn close to achieving that full power of his, which includes, of course, the Invincible Devil Trigger. But now you may ask, why do I believe he has not achieved that Devil Trigger yet? The answer to that relies in the fact that the villain for Devil May Cry 5 is said to be stronger than Mundus himself, and because in one of the screenshots for Devil May Cry 5, it shows Dante using the Sparta sword. And he's using that Sparta sword. So if he's using that, that means the big bad is very, very, very dangerous. So this big bad guy is a force to be reckoned with, and to not be messed around with. If Dante is gonna be using his father's power, that means this guy is going to pack a punch. We could go into theories for that, but this is not the video for it. Bottom line, what did we learn from all of this? Well, the big bad is going to be very strong. Dante is going to use a lot, a lot, even probably all of his power. Nero is probably not going to be a pushover that needs rescue. And we also have V, who, who we have no idea what the hell that guy, person, girl was is going to do and well the story is about it's said to be the biggest one yet and there's no clue as to where Virgil will be what his alliances will be but thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time on the next video <laughs>